So I once thought about becoming a priest. What exactly are holy orders and what happens at an ordination? Before getting into the sacrament of holy orders, we need to back up a little bit and talk about priesthood in general. Did you know that all Catholics are priests? It's true. Through our baptism, each of us is called to share in Christ's mission as priest, prophet, and king. Kings have authority, but it's their duty to care for all those in need. Prophets are messengers sent by God who speak out even when it's unpopular. And priests offer sacrifice and make ordinary things sacred. Every time you make even a small sacrifice for someone else, or say grace before a meal, or bring your faith into the workplace, you are participating in the priestly mission of Christ. In the church, this is known as the priesthood of all believers. Like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God. Now, in addition to the priesthood of all believers, God calls some to the sacramental priesthood. The primary responsibilities of these priests are to care for the spiritual needs of the people of God and for the institution of the church. The sacramental priesthood differs in essence from the priesthood of all believers because Catholic priests actually function in the person of Christ himself while celebrating the sacraments. They do so thanks to the grace of the sacrament of holy orders. Holy orders is the sacrament through which the mission entrusted by Christ to his apostles continues to be exercised in the church until the end of time. This sacrament is often referred to as ordination, a word which comes from the Latin for to incorporate into an order. In this case, that's a statement of faith. Catholics believe that we are all called to a certain way of life. To say that the church ordains a man literally means that we are placing him where he belongs in the world. Now, in today's world, we hear a lot about priest shortages in the Catholic Church, but the truth is, many young men are still answering the call to ordained ministry. In college, I got to know the Catholic faith a lot better, saw how rich the tradition was, and I was involved in campus ministry, and that's where I really learned the value of serving others and serving the church. And that was a very rewarding experience for me. Like baptism and confirmation, Holy Orders is a sacrament that leaves an indelible mark on the soul, meaning it changes a person forever. It's a lifelong commitment that requires years of academic and spiritual training, as well as an important process of discernment. The discernment, it's a journey, so you learn more and more about yourself and see how uh, your life fits into God's call for you. Ask yourself, is this it for me or not? And it is. I feel God has called me into this vocation and I say, yes, this is for me. Whatever the challenges are facing me in the future, I think God will give me the strength to deal with whatever is thrown at me. Holy Orders has its roots in the Bible, and since the very beginning, the Church has taught that this sacrament is the continuation of the priesthood that Christ Himself established. The Lord Jesus chose men to form the College of the Twelve Apostles, and the Apostles did the same when they chose collaborators to succeed them in their ministry. The College of Bishops, with whom the priests are united in the priesthood, makes the College of the Twelve an ever-present and ever-active reality until Christ's return. The Church has always taught that because Jesus chose only men to be the first priests, only men may receive the Sacrament of Holy Orders. However, both men and women fulfill many other important leadership roles in the Church. Some have joined religious orders as nuns and brothers, serving in education, health care, spiritual counseling, and social work. Many lay people receive theological degrees and work in schools, parishes, and diocesan offices, all serving to enliven the church with their many gifts alongside those who are ordained. There are, in fact, three degrees of ordained ministry in the church. Deacons are assistants to the bishops and priests. They work in parishes, hospitals, and prisons, and are able to perform the sacraments of baptism and marriage. Priests are responsible for the day-to-day -day spiritual care at a local parish. They celebrate the Eucharist, as well as marriage, baptism, the anointing of the sick, and confession. 
Bishops are the primary teachers of the faith and ultimate authority for their local diocese, a geographical area made up of many parishes. They may celebrate all seven sacraments, including confirmation and ordination. Now, if we look closely at some of the rituals that happen during a priest's ordination, we can learn a little more about what it means to say yes to the sacrament of holy orders. Like the obedience that Christ modeled for us, the priest-to-be promises to obey the bishop that he will serve. Do you promise respect and obedience to the diocesan bishop and to your legitimate superior? I do. And because priests in the Roman Catholic Church do not marry, he also makes a vow of celibacy. It's a call to universal love. I'm not called to a particular love to one specific person or to a specific family, but I have all my time to give to everyone. That's a unique call to the ordained ministry. The hands of the priest will consecrate the Eucharist, bless the faithful, and be instruments of spiritual healing. So the bishop anoints them with holy chrism oil. Priesthood, like all service in the church, requires much humility. As a symbol of that humility, the one to be ordained lies prostrate on the floor while the congregation prays that he be spiritually supported by all the saints in heaven. When I was prostrating on the cold floor there, you have the saints from all ages interceding for me, and yet the people gathered there. I feel like I'm not in this all by myself. I have my friends, I have my family, I have the whole church wanting me to succeed. While there are many rituals that make up the ordination ceremony, the sacrament of holy orders is conferred when the bishop lays his hands on the head of the one being ordained, silently invoking the Holy Spirit. And as a symbol of the fraternity of the priesthood, all the priests gathered also participate in the laying on of hands. I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. Let's continue to pray for men to be called to the sacrament of holy orders. Deacons, priests, and bishops, remind us that God calls all of us to be faithful followers of Christ. They minister in our name, and they give their lives in service to the people of God. I become a priest to spread the good word, do the good news. I receive a tremendous gift of faith from God, and I can't just sit still and not say it to anybody. I have to go out.